one of the biggest myths about cowboy boots is that they cause pain. Can cowboy boots cause pain? Yes. How? Well, let's get into it. The truth of the matter is, is that any kind of footwear can cause pain if it's not the right size for you, uh, or if it's not meeting the needs that you have in a piece of footwear. Cowboy boots aren't inherently painful. Although if you aren't wearing the right size, then you can definitely feel pain in your feet, in your knees, in your hips, in your back, in your neck. Like, cowboy boots can be painful uh, because they are not forgiving at all. It's not like a sneaker where you can loosen up the laces or anything and uh, fit differently for different occasions. A cowboy boot is the way that it is. Sure, it will stretch a little bit over time, but it's got to be comfortable from day one. Sure, it's also going to be a little bit snug from day one, but it should shouldn't cause back pain. So uh, when it comes down to it, it's usually in the fit where people are finding the pain because most people don't know how to find the right fit. When you have the wrong fit in a cowboy boot, you walk different to mitigate the pain that you're feeling from an ill-fitting cowboy boot, right? So as you like try to walk just a little bit differently so you don't feel that pain in the side of your foot or in your heel or in your arch because you have a, a poorly fitting pair of boots, that pressure from like walking funny builds up in your back or in your knees or in your hips. And then at the end of the day, you're like, oh man, those cowboy boots are the worst because they hurt my back. But it, it comes down to the fit or what you need in a pair of boots. Fit and comfort is so important. I talk about this all the time. And the great thing about cowboy boots is that there are so many different kinds for so many different kinds of people and the comfort that they're looking for. There is different heel sizes. So you have a roper heel, which is about a one inch heel, just a little bit shorter than this. This is a stockman heel, so it's a little bit more broad. And then you have more cowboy type heels, which are underslung and are about one and a half to two inches. This is a one and a half inch heel. So there's definitely different types of heels that you can get and the shorter the heel, uh, the less pain you're gonna have right off the, like if you're having pain walking around in any kind of shoe, you might want a shorter heel uh, between a stockman heel or a roper heel. And then you have different kinds of insoles on the inside of these boots. So you can have uh, what you would get in a sneaker, which is why a lot of people like sneakers for walking around because they're comfortable. You can have a foam insole in the side in the inside of a cowboy boot. Uh, Ariat is really good at that. Uh, there's a few other companies who have good insoles. Uh, and then there are other types of insoles, like there's the soft leather insole that is non-removable, so it's got some foam underneath it, like what's in this Boulet cowboy boot. It gives you a little bit extra comfort, a little bit extra softness. And then there is the hard leather insole, uh, which you really need a proper fitting boot for it to feel comfortable because it's hard, but it's really silky and it's cool. Uh, it's, it's a much better type of insole to wear on warm days um, and it forms to your foot. Similar to the way that a soft leather insole will, but a hard leather insole will really form to your foot quite well and create uh, basically the shape of your foot over a long period of time and that's really really comfortable so hard leather insole is my favorite for that reason but a lot of people can't do it right off the bat because of their joints they need a little bit more cushion and then you come to like different kinds of outsoles which could cause pain or make pain a little bit 
better. Like it could tame your pain as it'll be likes to say. So you have rubber or synthetic rubber outsoles on some boots, um, which is good uh, for grip, but oftentimes they are a little bit more heavy. So you gotta take that into account. Then you have leather outsole cowboy boots, which are lighter, uh, but they do slip and they're made to slip. Uh, you, they're good for dancing. You know, you can get your uh, foot out of a stirrup easier than you can with a rubber outsole cowboy boot. So if you're not doing those things and you're afraid of slipping and falling, maybe the leather outsole isn't the best for you. And then there's this other outsole called the crepe outsole, but it's basically the same thing as a sneaker outsole. Uh, it's very soft and probably the best for people who want to wear cowboy boots but are feeling pain in their joints even before they put on any kind of footwear uh, because there is a lot of cushion there and it's really good for walking and then oftentimes you'll also have an insole on the inside so you get extra cushion on the outside and on the inside of the boot. The only downside to the crepe sole cowboy boots is that they don't really look that great in my opinion they're really blocky um and they can kind of uh you know take up a huge amount of space on the bottom of your foot so it's all what what you're going for right there's a lot of different options for folks out there who are feeling pain or scared to wear cowboy boots because they may feel pain it all comes down to uh, finding the right size, which I talk about so frequently, and also finding the right features in a cowboy boot for you. I mean, you're, if you're coming into this with pain already, you're going to want a shorter heel, uh, probably to start out with an insole of some type, uh, a, a foam removable insole, and maybe you might want to consider a crepe outsole. So uh, those are some things that, you know, you could you could do if you're feeling pain but cowboy boots aren't inherently painful it's how somebody wears them and the size that they choose so you just got to make sure you fit the right size boot for you right um, and if you do feel pain contact Ildi with Neurocentric Health and Fitness right here I mean Neurocentric health.boston is the website right here on the Facebook page uh, contact her and see see what you need to do to uh, get cowboy boots back in your life if you're feeling pain um, like I said they're not inherently painful but can they cause pain oh yeah for sure for sure uh, you just it, it comes down to the fit and finding the right features in a cowboy boot that suit your needs as a human and whatever sorts of pain that you're coming into the cowboy boot world with. So uh, that's what I wanted to share today. What do you guys think? Uh, any other thoughts on cowboy boots and how they can fit or if they're painful or not? Neil says, I don't find my boots hurt anymore than anything else, but I'm considering getting some square toe boots for the extra room. Yeah, that's another thing. Toe shape can matter uh, if you are having trouble finding the right size for you. Uh, I'm a narrow width foot person, so I have a B width uh, foot, and a lot of companies don't make B widths. They basically stick with D widths and double E's. So oftentimes, when I choose a D width boot, I have to size down to an 11 or a 10 and a half, uh, which means my foot goes further into the boot than what it's supposed to, and sometimes my toes get cramped up in there uh, because of the way that the round toe comes to a point. But with square toe boots, like this, uh, you really don't have that uh, because it's just a square. So your foot can come down he here quite a bit further uh, and not feel that same kind of pain uh, that you would with a, a boot like this. So a square toe is much more forgiving. Uh, for example, like, like I said, I'm a 12B foot. This boot right here, 
This boot is a 10 and a half D, so I had to come down a size and a half, uh, but it is still pretty comfortable because I have plenty of room with that square toe. That's a good point, Neil. Ildi is saying that she will offer a 15 minute complimentary phone call if anybody wants to learn more about uh, cowboy boot pain or the pain that they need to uh, deal with or find therapy for before they go back into wearing cowboy boots. If cowboy boots hurt your back, get yourself back on track. Yeah. Or find a better boot in your lane Or tame your pain Start to tame your pain Yes, alright <laughs> If you're not subscribed to me on YouTube yet You definitely should be Cause we're talking cowboy boot stuff all the time